So I think the challenges in the age of the customer are the complexity of the digital world, really, in terms of how customers can interact with a company, an organisation, a brand. And I think for any business leader, that has created uh, an enormous amount of um, challenges really, whether it be as simple as um, a customer who is unhappy finding your personal details on the web and sending you an email when you're on holiday, to um, how a brand can engage with uh, a disparate group of people who consume information in so many different ways which you know even 10 years ago wasn't really the case so the world has become incredibly complex and um, that complexity increases day by day conversely the opportunity is you now have an amazing opportunity to be almost one-to-one -one personal with every single customer and so it's a t it's an amazing double-edged sword really I think skill sets have to change right across the board and it's not really just uh, in, the, in the marketing domain. Uh, I think the vast majority of people in business now need to understand or have uh, a primary thought about well, what's right for the customer. And that's quite a difficult challenge within an environment where perhaps your business is primarily manufacturing, so in our case it's construction, which is a manufacturing process, to, for people who perhaps don't come in contact with the customer all the time, to think, well, is this decision I'm making right for a customer? So I think that's, an, that's a, a business-wide uh, challenge and opportunity. Uh, and I think particularly in the modern, um, uh, I wouldn't say digitally driven world, I'd say technologically driven world, is really helping everybody kind of think about technology and how that can be used as an enabler. One, to get close to the customer and two, to deliver for the customer because a lot, most of the solutions that will come along are in some shape or form technology based. Uh, and that's a seismic shift and it's not just about people's skills and capability, it's also about uh, behaviour and mindset and I think that's one of the most fundamental things to change because of course people have lots of different emotions um, relating to technology in particular quite often an emotion of fear or um, concern about feeling kind of inadequate or stupid because they don't know the latest thing I think the interesting thing is none of us know the latest thing really do we I think marketing has to be organised to work across functions. Um, I suppose as, as, a, as a thought is one I, could, I would struggle to identify with, to be honest, because I think one of the uh, challenges that marketing can be viewed in a silo, uh, and quite often that silo in many organisations is about marketing, really what we mean is marketing communications when we're talking about marketing. And that's just the wrapper, you know, that's, that's the clothing that uh, each brand or product wears. And uh, I, su I suppose the, the challenge organisationally is that, that that really isn't marketing, you know, that's communications. What, what marketers should be doing, or certainly marketing leaders should be doing, is looking at the holistic experience end-to-end -end and all facets of the product. Now in our case as a business um, one could say well um, marketing is about marketing new homes to people who are in market to buy them. Yet actually really what we should be thinking about is the process from start to finish which starts with are we buying the right piece of land? What product are we going to put on that land? How do we engage with the local community when we get planning permission? How do we um, engage with landowners and local authorities and planners right through to 
uh, looking after customers when they inquire with us and we show them around properly in terms of um, our developments and homes and hopefully help them find a home that they want to buy and then manage that experience right through to delivering a home that's right first time and if there are issues fixing them quickly and so on and so forth because that's really the experience which is you know way outside of uh, just marketing communications and I think um, I think that's a challenge for a lot of marketers and a lot of businesses and to start think, thinking far more holistically about the customer experience so some organizations would say customer experience is service um, but what really does that mean you know service is is just a, an element of the product one is consuming um, because uh, you're consuming the whole experience end to end. So I think it's about really about the, the marketers getting out of their marketing silo and starting to take a view on the whole of the, the product and service proposition from end to end in all of its facets. Um, not forgetting, of course, they've got to communicate it effectively. <laughs> most exciting thing about um, focusing the organization on becoming customer centric uh, capitalizing on technology and digital to be able to do that is really uh, very simple it's about transforming an industry because house building um, uh, perhaps hasn't always thought about so much about individual consumers and customers and needs and how uh, you, we might be able to change the construction process to, or the materials we use to better deliver for that um, and uh, really creating a dynamic and innovative environment where we really do crack exactly what people want and are able to deliver it every single time will create competitive advantage which will transform UK house building and I think that's got to be pretty exciting for anybody really so you know hopefully we'll do a good good job <laughs>